So, my name is Pam, and my entire life changed this year. In the spring of this year, my Heavenly Father called me out of the darkness and gave me the gift of faith. He gave me this gift of faith not or grace, not based on my condition or of anything I've done. For scripture says in Ephesians 2, 8, for, my, for by grace you have been saved through faith, and that none of, of yourselves, it is the gift of God. I was not raised in any church or in a home with any kind of Christian values. I was raised in an environment where alcohol and drugs and abuse was normal and accepted. I grew up around motorcycle gangs, drunken parties, and violence. I learned at a young age that peop what people did when they were drunk was quite different than what they did when they were sober, and that drunkards were not held accountable for their actions. I never felt love from my mom, only rejection, and I didn't know who my dad was. But my grandma, my grandpa showed me love, but it always came at a high cost. I learned at an early age that the only way to survive was to build walls, to become strong. I learned to depend on myself alone. I was abrasive, crass, hateful, and untrusting of anyone and everyone. I went to the church for the first time in my late 20s, charismatic. And even though I didn't see God, I honestly believed I was a Christian in every sense of the word regardless of not attending church, a lack of communion with the Father, and the absolute obscene one, I could sin all I want today and ask forgiveness tomorrow. And be forgiven, no big deal, since there's always somebody sinning worse than I am. Oh, how wrong I was. Easy believism taught me that God was only about love. I knew nothing about the God being just. And why would I? I never studied the word. I read a little here and there, but never really understood it. The desire and the hunger was not there. The worst thing is that I thought Jesus died on the cross only because of what the Romans did to him. I had a false understanding of salvation and how it was obtained. One of my co-workers, Rebecca, my Rebecca, <laughs> had been evangelizing to me for four years, but I was unresponsive to the gospel. Nine months ago, I was at work when the Lord used a conversation between uh, Ryan to begin working in me. I remember telling him that I never doubted Jesus was real since the day I heard about him years ago. Looking back at my life, I realized just how ignorant I was when I said that. Even though I believed Jesus existed, I never sought to know him. Ryan showed me that I wasn't truly trusting in God in any aspect of my life and that I needed a savior. Three days later, I began attending Cornerstone. I began to read um, What is the Gospel, which was given to me my first visit. And listening to Paul Washer's sermons, uh, Test the True Faith and Not Ashamed of the Gospel, when I understood the sacrifice Jesus made for me. This is when I realized Jesus bore the weight of my rebellion, disobedience, and sin on his shoulders while he was nailed to the cross. I did not know that God in his holiness turned away from Jesus in disgust just prior to crushing him with his wrath. Jesus, who was perfect and sinless, loved me so much that he became the atonement for my sin. How does one comprehend such a love? Coming to understand the sacrifice Jesus made for me hit me deep down and took my breath away. I can't explain the hurt I feel in my own heart for what I have done and careless and how I carelessly live my life and how I'm the one that put Jesus on that cross. When this realizing, realization came to me, I couldn't stop crying for the longest time. It was the moment I finally realized how wicked I am and how deserving I am of hell. This was a scary and very defining moment for me, and that brings me to tears when I think about it. I am not ashamed of my feelings. 
or the gospel, and I'm not ashamed of who I have become and will share with anyone who will listen. I am not who I was eight months ago, and I'm not even the same person I was a couple weeks ago. I am continually to grow steadily in my faith, and God is constantly changing me into the Christian he created me to be. The day I was truly introduced to the gospel was the day my eyes were open to the Lord, and I never knew that, I'm sorry, the day I was truly introduced to the gospel was the day my eyes were open to the Lord I never knew, and in turn, the, God opened my heart. My entire life changed that day. By God's grace, I say I was saved. From the moment it happened, I knew that something was new and that something had changed. I felt completely different. I no longer felt broken. And I knew instantly that it had nothing to do with me. I don't know why God chose me or why he changed me so quickly, but he did. I can in no way claim any merit for my salvation or sanctifica and sanctification. What I do know is that my life is no longer mine and that I need to trust God in all things. I no longer desire to please myself, but to please God. I do not want to gather worldly possessions, but only build treasures in heaven. All I want to do is glorify God in everything I do. Apart from God's grace, I can do nothing. And everything I do, I, des I desire to do in faith. I want people to see Christ when they look at me. I trust the Lord will finish the work he has started in me. Now knowing what God did for me, why would I ever want to do anything other than serve and glorify him for the rest of my life? I desire to serve the Lord in everything, every way I can, and pray that my hunger to do so never ceases. For though the Lord, for through the Lord I am finally living my life to the fullest with such joy. I have a new mission and I'm very excited to see where the Father will use me. All praise, honor, and glory to the Christ who gave himself for me. Amen. Amen. Love, love to hear the testimonies of uh, our brothers and sisters preaching the gospel. What a joy, right, that uh, the preaching the gospel and work is going to use that as a means to save fans. It's just a great joy. And it's a joy for us to be able to baptize our sister today. So, uh, upon your profession of faith in the Lord Jesus Christ and your commitment to serve the Lord as a member of Cornerstone Baptist Church, it's a joy to baptize you today. And we baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Ready for Christ's baptism? Yeah!